Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and it is Monday so it's meal prep day. I'm actually filming this video on Sunday Easter, hence the fun Easter eye makeup. This was a fun filter I did over on my beauty channel on TikTok. So I hope that you had an amazing, amazing Easter and I have three fantastic recipes for you. Breakfast, lunch, and cake with protein. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a meal prep every single Monday. All of today's recipes are on my website. I will link that at the top of the description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our free Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So let's head on into my kitchen for this week's meal prep. For my breakfast this week, I'm making a two ingredient dough breakfast roll. These are going to be high in protein and then I'll pair this with some fruit. So let me show you what you'll need. So to make two ingredient dough, you need self rising flour. You can also use regular flour, just add in your leavening agents. And then you're going to need plain non-fat Greek yogurt. For this recipe, you'll also need light butter, some type of bacon. I'm just going to use this fully cooked bacon, light shredded cheese, chicken or turkey sausage of your choice. I have the Amy Lou chicken breakfast links, salt and pepper, and some eggs. So the first thing we need to do is make the two ingredient dough. So I have one and a half cups of self-rising flour. And then we want equal parts Greek yogurt, but what I like to do is add in a little bit at a time until I have the right dough consistency, but typically it ends up being a one-to-one -one ratio. And then you're just going to mix that together until your dough is formed. So I sprayed my counter with some nonstick cooking spray, formed my Greek yogurt and flour into dough, and then we're just going to roll this out. I'm going to roll it in a thin, rectangular shape. It doesn't have to be perfect, but if you can go for a little bit thinner dough, it's going to cook a little bit faster. You'll be able to have that dough stretch a little bit further. So once your dough is all spread out, we're going to add two tablespoons of melted butter and just spread that evenly over the dough. And then I scrambled up four eggs and we're going to spread those evenly over the dough as well. Make sure that you stay away from about the outer inch so that we can roll this up and all of our inside, all of the good stuff on the inside doesn't kind of spew out when we roll this up. Then we're going to add one cup of light shredded cheese on top of our eggs. And then we have our 12 slices of bacon. I'm just going to kind of crumble that up on top. Also, I forgot to mention that I did salt and pepper my eggs. I may or may not have tossed Lola one little piece of bacon. And then I'm going to add on my chopped up six chicken sausage links. And then the hard part is we want to kind of roll this up. So starting from the end, just kind of roll your dough. Now there is a lot of toppings in here, so my dough is kind of breaking as I roll it, but we're just going to try to seal all of the eggs, bacon, and sausage on the inside. So the original recipe says to cut it into rolls from here, but I'm actually going to cook mine first, only because with two ingredient dough, it's not as stable as dough using yeast, so I don't want it to completely fall apart. But I am going to sprinkle my last cup of shredded cheese right on top. And then it's going into a 400 degree oven until cooked completely through. Look at how good this breakfast roll looks. I just pulled it out of the oven. I'm going to let it sit for about 10 minutes or so, and then I'm going to cut it into 15 or so equal pieces. Let's see how many I get, and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here is what the rolls look like. Look how good that looks. Packed with protein, healthy carbs. I'll go ahead and put points calories, macros here on the screen for you. And I did end up getting 15 rolls total. 
for my lunch this week, I'm making hot honey chicken bowls. This is a great way to get in protein and lots of veggies. So let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need salt and pepper, hot honey. Thank you to everybody who commented on my grocery haul and let me know that this isn't super hot. That makes me really, really happy. Hopefully I really like it because you guys said it's really good on avocado toast and cottage cheese. So I'm excited to try it out. You'll also need some minced garlic. I have some rice cooking in my little dash rice cooker. I did one cup of rice, two cups of water. You literally turn it on and your rice comes out perfect every single time. I will link my dash rice cooker down below. I got it on Amazon. I have a couple zucchinis, a yellow squash, some carrots, a fresh lime, two small avocados. These are those teeny tiny ones. The recipe actually calls for one medium, so I did two tiny. And then about a pound of chicken tenderloin, chicken breast, chicken thigh, whatever you want to use. So in my Dutch oven, this is the Caraway Dutch oven. Love this. You want to use a pan skillet Dutch oven that can go into your oven. So I'm using my Caraway. I'll link Caraway down below for you. I added my chicken tenderloin. I'm going chicken tenderloins. I'm going to allow these to cook for about five to seven minutes and then remove them from the pan. Just place them on a plate and set them aside. I removed the chicken. Now I'm going to add in my zucchini, yellow squash, and carrots big scoop of our minced garlic and we're going to allow those to saute down for just a couple of minutes. So go ahead and turn off your heat and we're going to put our chicken right on top of our vegetables. We want one third cup total of hot honey. We want to reserve two tablespoons. So I'm going to drizzle the rest over the chicken and then allow it to kind of coat the vegetables a little bit too. And then we're putting our Dutch oven in a 400 degree oven for 20 minutes. So I just took the chicken and vegetables out of the oven. It smells so good with that hot honey. My rice is, ooh, or steamy. My rice is also done. I have my avocado lime and my hot honey. So I went ahead and packaged up the chicken and the vegetables. So this recipe makes six serving. So what I'm going to do is one sixth of the chicken and vegetables per day, which is a little bit over one chicken tenderloin. And then we'll top it with some fresh avocado, some fresh lime juice. And then we have those two tablespoons of hot honey reserved. So we're going to do about a half of a tablespoon, a little less than half of a tablespoon drizzled on top of each bowl. And then I'm going to do a quarter cup of rice each day as well. So I'll put down the rice, the veggies, the chicken, drizzle it with the hot honey, add some avocado and some fresh lime. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For dessert this week, I'm making a cake, but we're making it protein cake. I'm really excited for this. We're going to do a decadent, rich chocolate cake with lots of protein. So let me show you what you'll need. So you're going to need chocolate protein powder. I'm going to use my favorite brand, Clean Simple Eats. You already know how much I love my CSC protein. This is the chocolate brownie batter. This is going to be amazing, amazing for this cake. Clean Simple Eats is 100 calories, 20 grams of protein, 100% grass-fed whey, so the highest quality whey protein the best protein powder. If you follow me, you know I eat it every single day in some fashion. So I'm going to be using that as my protein powder. I will link Clean Simple Eats down below for you with a discount. You'll need some Lily's chocolate chips, sugar-free maple syrup, milk of your choice. I'm going with Fair Life just for some extra protein. Unsweetened applesauce, baking powder, baking soda, and cocoa powder, vanilla extract, non-fat plain Greek yogurt, two eggs, and some flour. Started on the cake, you'll need a large bowl. I'm adding three quarters of a cup of flour, three scoops of my Clean Simple Eats protein powder, quarter cup cocoa powder, a pinch of salt, and then half of a teaspoon each of baking powder and baking soda. And then stir to combine fully your dry ingredients. Next, we're adding in one teaspoon of vanilla extract, three quarters of a cup of sugar-free maple syrup, three quarters of a cup of Fairlife milk, a quarter cup unsweetened applesauce, two eggs, and half of a cup non-fat plain Greek yogurt. And then stir to fully combine. And then add your batter to an eight by eight baking dish sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. 
And then our cake is going into a 350 degree oven for about 35 minutes or until it's cooked through. I just took the protein cake out of the oven. I'm going to let it cool completely about 10 or 15 minutes and then we're going to make a chocolate ganache to spread on top. So I melted 200 Lily's chocolate chips with a couple of tablespoons of Fairlife milk and basically made a thick, yummy, chocolatey ganache. And I'm just going to spread this right on top of our cake. It is completely cooled, so make sure you let your cake cool completely. And there is the completed protein cake. You can definitely have cake on a weight loss journey and just make it a little healthier with some added protein. So I'll put all the information here on the screen for you. joining me for another weekly meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all three recipes. Definitely try them out. 10 out of 10, they are all absolutely delicious. Don't forget to check out the description box where I, where I will have my recipe website, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Monday, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.